Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I wanted to talk to you about a plan or skew from Google called Enterprise Essentials. It's one we get asked about quite a bit by companies, um, and so I thought it might be useful to cover it in a video. If you're interested in learning more about who this plan is for, what features it has, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to cover four areas. What is Enterprise Essentials? Um, who is the plan or SKU actually aimed at? What are the kind of benefits or features within it? And then I'm going to talk about some of the FAQs that we get, the frequently asked questions, those limitations and gotchas um, that are always there for products. So firstly, what is Enterprise Essentials? Well, it's a plan or a SKU from Google that has a very specific use case. It's aimed at companies that don't use Google as their primary product, which may seem a little bit unusual. It was launched uh, just around uh, COVID in 2020, and it has most of the tools and features within Google Workspace without Gmail. So it's an enterprise level uh, plan or SKU, so it has a lot of the uh, security side of things covered. Um, but it doesn't have Gmail. So it has Drive, it has, you know, obviously doc sheets and slides within Google Drive. It has Google Meet, uh, Tasks, it has access to Google Sites, has Google Chat um, and Calendar as well. And in terms of who it's aimed at, it's aimed at companies, as I said, who are primarily using another email platform like Microsoft, and they're looking to extend out collaborative uh, tools like Google Workspace to their users. Um, in terms of who generally uses this, um, it could be, for example, a company that works with uh, Google or a tech provider uh, as a supplier, and we get this quite a bit. We've got you know um, examples of customers in building management and lawyers and translation services that are working for a lot of these big tech firms and the big tech firms only want to use Google. And so they get documents shared into them on Google Drive. Now what happens when, when um, a company shares a document uh, to, with your users who are on Microsoft, they'll often be asked to set up a consumer Google account on your business email address, but a consumer Google account. And that creates shadow IT for IT companies. So we get a lot of customers that come to us who have you know, 50 or 100 or even thousands of email accounts that have been set up by their users um, that are consumer Google accounts and they want to get control over them. And so by bringing in a product like Enterprise Essentials, uh, it's very cost effective. I'll talk about the price later on. And you can um, take control of those what, what are called unmanaged users. So that's a, like a, a very common example um, where we get customers coming to us who are Microsoft uh, companies. They primarily use Microsoft, but they're looking um, to, as I said, get, get control over those unmanaged users. So that, that's one piece. And then the other might be companies that just want to actually use the collaborative features within Google, like Google Meet, like um, Google Drive, and they want to maybe replace um, something like OneDrive or SharePoint or Box or Dropbox um, with Google Drive, or they want to replace Zoom or Teams uh, with, with Google's uh, uh, product, Google Meet. So it come, customers tend to come from those sort of two uh, areas or camps. And as I said, a lot of them, Microsoft is their primary uh, system for email and, and calendar, but it's those collaborative sort of features they may be looking for on Google, or they're working externally with customers uh, of, their, of theirs who are using uh, Google and will only use Google. Um, for collaboration. So the, that's the kind of use cases. Uh, in terms of the kind of features and benefits, as I said, it's got those products that we were talking about. There are two plans. So there's Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise Essentials Plus. The difference between these is actually quite similar to the Enterprise Standard and Enterprise Plus plans within Google. So the Plus one has stuff like um, eDiscovery, um, actually, sorry, they both have eDiscovery, but DLP, Dead Loss Prevention, uh, Context Aware Access, it has Cloud Identity Premium, it has security investigation tools and the security dashboard. So a lot of it is that back end security piece within the, 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 the Plus tool. Um, 
our, our plan and we will link to the comparison for those. Google has their own comparison for those if you're trying to decide uh, between them. Okay, so the next piece I wanted to cover was kind of limitations and those kind of frequently asked questions. There isn't a huge amount here, but there's one or two that are quite important. You can set up enterprise essentials without um, verifying your domain. It does limit some of the features that you have. Once you verify your domain, then you, you get those additional features. So it is uh, recommended that you do that uh, and do that through your IT team. Um, as I said, it allows you to take control of accounts that consumer accounts that you may end up with um, on your or within your business that are using Google and are using these, as I said, these consumer accounts. Um, it's quite dangerous for a lot of customers because they end up with corporate data in these consumer accounts. So a lot of customers like the enterprise essentials for that uh, because it's quite cost effective and allows them, as I said, to kind of take control. What's really important in terms of the, the gotchas is you can't downgrade to enterprise essentials. So if you're a customer who's on Google and using it and say you migrate away to Microsoft, you might think I'll downgrade my account to enterprise essentials and that's fine and I'm using business or I'm using one of the enterprise um, plus plans. You can't go from any other Google SKU or plan down to Enterprise Essentials. You can upgrade from Enterprise Essentials up to any of the other plans, but you can't go back down. So that's a really important uh, caveat to be aware of. The final piece that I wanted to cover is the cost. So uh, I'm going to cover this, and I've written them up here in euros, sterling, and dollars, because I know we have people from around the world who watch us. Um, they're essentially, no pun intended again, double the price. So. The Enterprise Essentials plans, I'm, now the pricing I'm talking about here is commit pricing, there is also flex price which is slightly more expensive but assuming people are buying it for a year, it's $10 for the Essentials one and $20 for the plus and those prices in sterling then are £8.40 for the Essentials and £16.80 for the plus and in Euro, €9.60 for Essentials and €19.20 for the plus, so pretty much double. You know, you can see it there with the um, dollar one, ten dollars and twenty dollars, and that's per user per month. So it is one of the most cost-effective plans, particularly for enterprise customers that want to have it as an add-on. You know, they maybe, as I said, have Microsoft um, as their primary platform, but they're looking to either add Google or maybe, as I said, take control of those unmanaged users. If this is a plan that you're interested in yourself or your company does have, as I said, these unmanaged users or consumer accounts and you're looking to get more control over them, it's actually an area you, our team has a lot of experience in and has migrated uh, hundreds of, of, of uh, used, thousands of users um, from, from customers in, in this scenario. So if you're not subscribed to us, do, as I said, hit that subscribe button. Um, we do weekly videos on Google Workspace uh, and on areas of interest like this. Thanks very much, and I will see you guys in the next one.